Hey, good morning. Welcome to Vlogsember. I am in my car. I forgot to turn on the camera. I was talking to myself like an idiot driving over here. Um, the sun is right in my face. Let me see if I cover this. It's still in my face. Anyways, okay, that's better. I just got to the laser place. Uh, it's right 10 o'clock, so I have to go. Oh, I forgot my watch. I have to go right in. Um, I just want to say good morning and show you my face before and after to see if I get any irritations or anything i want to share my experience with you i forgot yesterday to show you the gift of the day for the giveaway um i always forget and then when i edit is when i remember i'm gonna try when i get home later tonight uh show you today's and tomorrow's um i might go to the tire place after i finish this i gotta see how it goes or not i'll just go tomorrow like i said yesterday but anyways i'm gonna go in and i'll show you with you guys the experience see you in a second Okay, so I'm not even gonna put the camera on the mount because I won't be talking a lot. Um, I just got out, but I couldn't do it. They couldn't do it on me because I am drinking antibiotics. I didn't know that was gonna be an issue. Well, yeah, I had no idea. So the lady said, well, the technician said that I have to wait 10 days till I'm done with uh, antibiotics to come to come. So I made an appointment for next month, for this month on the 22nd. So I'll share that with you guys, of course, the experience, but I just wanted to do it already. Anyways, I'm gonna get to work. Um, it's a little bit late for me to go to the tire place. If I don't go after, oh no, they close at five or six today, so I'm gonna go tomorrow. I mean, I keep on repeating myself, but I'm just trying to brainstorm what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go tomorrow. I'm gonna call them and see how long they take to do that service, and that way I know how long it will take tomorrow. So I'll let you guys go for now. I'm going to go to work, nothing special, and I'll take you guys with me if I do something after work. Let's see. Bueno, um, bueno, I'm talking in Spanglish. I'll see you guys in a second. Hello, I'm back on the road. All right, so I did go to the tire place. <clears throat> Actually, it was, the service was like half an hour. I have two flat tires, and they handled it. It was a good service, affordable price. I'm going to leave a good review on, on, um, on the reviews yelp or something and the camera is a little bit tilted because i can't find no matter how i try putting it in the camera does not go straight all the time so i hope you guys don't mind i just wanted to get on have a little chit chat as i go to work i didn't put on any makeup this morning because since i was going to do the laser thing um you're not supposed to wear makeup or wear anything on your face any creams or nothing Regardless, I didn't get to do anything, so but it's okay. I mean, it happens. I didn't know about the antibiotic thing, it's good to know. And the um, technician, the nurse, um, I'm sorry, what's the person? I forgot what their title is or her title is. Um, she was very nice, the consultant, I guess. She was honest and she told me you know, the truth because it's a risk they could, she could burn me. I mean, uh, somebody else, someone who has, who was another girl would just do it just to get the money. But she was honest about it. So that tells you a lot about the person, about the, that business, about that spa place. Um, anyways, it is a laser, it's called a laser center spa Miami or something. If they have an Instagram, I'll put it in the, in the description. You guys could check it out if you're in the Miami area. I still haven't done any treatments with her, but a really close friend of mine th did recommend them. So trying to see if I can get a little bit straighter I can anyways I am on the way to work today you'll see this on Saturday but for me it's Friday and I do have to go by the post office because I have a couple of packages from Sephora I ordered you know Sephora had a 20% off site-wide for like one time only the coupon use so I got something um, I got something for me and I got something for a friend, which she wanted this lipstick and I just ordered it for her. I'm gonna give it to her tomorrow when I see her. And I'll show you guys, of course, I'm gonna unbox, unbox the box and share with you. It's not a lot of items, it's just like four items. I didn't buy a lot this time because I really, there isn't a lot of new releases that I'm interested in, that I, or I don't have. And yeah, I'm very happy about this tire thing. I'm like, oh, I, I got that burden off my back. I was so worried and I finally did it. And good thing I came today because if I would have gone tomorrow, they told me Saturdays, weekends are really busy. Or we, uh, Saturdays because they're closed on Sunday. Saturdays is really busy for them. So I'm glad that I was able to go today. 
and I'm having my coffee. Oh my God, it's so good. Cafe con leche that my mom prepared. And yeah, um, I think that's all I wanted to catch up with. I don't have a lot of plans this weekend, but I'll see what I do, what surprises I bring tomorrow, because I do want to have a new video for you guys every day for Vlogstemper. I'm planning on going, I want to go to like, um, Japanese garden. It's, it's like about an hour and a half away from here. And now that my tires are good, I could go. But this Sunday we have that funeral that I told you guys about and then, which I'm not gonna show of course. And I'll probably go next Sunday. I gotta see how the weather is because if it's raining and stuff, there's no point of going and half the, half the, half the things are outdoors. There is a garden and there's a like a theater uh, which should be nice. I love the Japanese culture and their cherry blossoms and all their plants and bonsais and all that. Is bonsais Japanese or Chinese? Oh, regardless, I, I love I love their culture and their food. I'm going with my mom. Um, and I don't know who else is going to go with me, but I'm going to gonna go with my mom for sure. And she doesn't like sushi, so. But I see what they have in that cafe. They have some nice sushi. I'll order some. Anyways, I'm going out on, out of tangent here. And yeah, today there's a lot of traffic now because it's 11:09. There's no there's school zones in the area that I'm in, but there is no I'm out of the I'm out of the hours. You know, there's no traffic, and it's really it's kind of gloomy today. It's 77 degrees. It's a little bit gloomy because there's a, a cold front coming in, and we had two days of really beautiful temperatures, really nice. It was like sunny, and we had. 60s and went down to like late 50s that for us here in Miami that's cold for me it was perfect it was like perfection the perfect weather but for Miamians and that's how you say it, Miamians oops it's shaking I'm sorry Miamians that's cold so you see people with sweaters and boots and I'm like you guys are exaggerating but I guess I understand because that's the only time that they have to do that I understand we're supposed to get another cold front next week and I'm like dying for it. Like I'm excited because there's some clothing that I want to wear. Hopefully, if I do take the trip this month, it'll be a little bit colder. But I'm gonna stay in Florida, so it shouldn't be that cold. Last year I went to Tennessee to see my brother, but this year we were not gonna go. But maybe next year I'll plan something. Um, maybe not in winter. I want to go in winter because of the snow. But then driving in the mountains when it's snowing is not nice. So I gotta see what I gotta. I do either I go driving. Or I'll take a I'll take a flight to Knoxville and then get an Uber or have him pick me up. Have me I'll have him pick me up. Or I'll rent a car, whatever. Anyways, um, it's nice catching up with you guys. I am getting close to work, and I'll see if there's anything special, something that I think it's worth sharing with you guys, something you'll find interesting. I'll definitely log on again and record it. Um, next Friday is our lunch at work which I'm always looking forward to because it's, we, we get in our office we get very well along we, we all like we're like a family but it's work you know and sometimes we're tense and stress and and those lunches are when we are more relaxed and more like ourselves it's out of it's not in a work environment so we're more relaxed and we have a couple of drink I don't drink much because I get a, a migraine but I do drink and we relax and I mean I mean we, we drink we get something we relax we have fun so I'm looking forward to it like I do every year and that's when we get our bonuses but shh, I'm not telling anyone I'm not telling you guys how much I'm just joking anyways all right so I am turning in now to go to the office and I'll see you guys in a second Oh, hey friends. How are you guys doing this afternoon? Oh, afternoon for me is evening. It's 6.52. I left work. I'm in the UPS store. Or oh, I'm just leaving the UPS store. Be careful because there's a lot of crossroads here. And it is dark. It's already nighttime. That's why I don't like to film at this time because you can barely see me. But you'll, you'll uh, at least see something. And maybe the angle is not the best. 
let me put this up a little bit i was able to get it the camera even so i'm happy for that this thing i know there's a way to put it down there we go it's like bothering my neck here how you guys doing <laughs> so i i just came from the ups and i picked up my orders from sephora oh i remember now because i was thinking why did i get two boxes from sephora because the first order i got my 20 percent off um order and then i wanted to use up my i had 20 dollars in my sephora rewards so i got my friend's gift for free because <laughs> what she wanted was a uh, a fenty lipstick you will see it now i'll show it to you and she and i had 20 dollars off so it i i think it was a bit more than 20 dollars it was 27 dollars or something so I, I used the reward and was able to get it for free but i was the reward was about to expire like a, the day after so you know what i took advantage of the 20 dollars and and that's it anyways so i'm on the way home i'm going to open those packages for you you don't know you guys well maybe you can't imagine I, I i feel so relieved that my tires are good again because that was always in the back of my mind and i'm glad that i was able to fix it the thing is i don't know if i should talk about this but i've been i've i'm a pretty independent person i've always been but you know I always had like either my dad or my brothers and then my husband but then I am alone now just with my mom because my dad passed away in 2016 I got married in 2017 now I'm separated so I'm basically by myself and my mom and I have my brothers but one of them is in Tennessee and the other one has you know his family his work and I cannot really rely on a person like that you know I have to be independent so for me getting the car to the tire place for me it was like an an issue because I'm not used to doing that now I will get used to it but now that I know where it is and that they're really cool really nice excellent service then I feel comfortable in going there anytime that I need it you know I'm always like that for like the first experience the first time I go somewhere the first time I do something I'm always nervous always but then after once I do it once that's it I like I break the ice and that's it so I left a good review on the Google map thing uh, for that place because it's really really good I liked it really really nice people and it was really fast service half an hour I was done and gone yeah it, it's true that I went at a good time because Friday was the service was slow Friday morning if I would have gone tomorrow it would have been worse my hair I'm a little loose my hair's dirty but tomorrow is my wash day I wash my hair once a day uh, once a week I said it before but I wash my hair once a week and tomorrow's the day that I wash my hair, so but I'm gonna let it loose while I'm driving and just go like this and massage my scalp. It um helps me with my stress. Cause when you have your hair for a ponytail in a ponytail for a while, at least for me, it starts hurting back here. There's a lot of traffic. I'm like bumper to bumper here in this area. Anyways, I just wanted to just chit chat a little bit here. Driving, I have if you hear in the background, I have it low, but I hope I don't get copyright. Let me lower it down. I listened to Ravel Bolero on the way to work and from work, except when I'm going to the gym. When I go to the gym, I listen to hip hop, freestyle, something that will get me in a mood. And then on the way back, then I listen again to classical music. It relaxes me. So that's what I listen to. I have it on repeat. It's 60 minutes long and it's just repeat and repeat and it does not bore me at all. I love it. It just relaxes me. All right, I'm gonna stop ranting. I just wanted to get on here, talk with you guys a little bit, see how my day is usually, and see a side of me that you don't always get to see in my videos. And it's nice, because that way we get to know each other a little bit better. Once, once I get home, I'm gonna open the boxes. It's seven, I'm not hungry, so I probably won't have dinner. Maybe a glass of milk or something. Take a shower and go to bed, because I have to edit and i have to do things and i know it's friday night for me it's saturday for you guys but for me it's friday but i really don't have any plans for today a friend texted me to see if i had any plans but i'm still getting over the the cellulitis and i'm not feeling up to going out today but maybe you know tomorrow not tomorrow but sunday i do have that funeral but maybe after after it at night i'll ask ask my friend if she wants to go out for dinner or something i'll see to get out do something this weekend all right, that is all for now. Just gonna drive home and nothing more interesting to say for now. I don't have anything new. 
and um yeah i'll see you guys when i get home hello welcome to my studio <laughs> All right, here I have the box. It was two ordered, but I already took out, already, I put everything on box. It just makes life easier. Let me show you what I got from my friend that she wanted. I don't want to open it because I, you know, I want her to see it. Well, maybe I could open it and not break it. And yeah, I think if I open it, yeah, I was able to open it without breaking the, she wanted the, this Fenty color. And it's called Wicked, Wicked Wine. But it's a beautiful like burgundy color that she saw on Instagram and she was like, hey D, can you get this for me? I'm like, sure. <laughs> All right, what I got for me. I picked up the Drunk Elephant Old Blues Rosy Drops. This has been like out in a stock for a while. I have the bronzer and I have a highlight and I have the moisturizer and I like to mix them together. I like to mix the bronzer with the elephant with um, the moisturizer. So I picked up the blush, the liquid blush. This is what it looks like. I picked up for myself the Westman Atelier Clean Glow, Glow, Clean Glow Trio Petite Sticks in its Biscuit Nectar and Petal. I'll open it now. Let me just take it out of the box. And I bought a perfume. I have this is the YSL Mon Paris Intense. Intensement. I have the. I have this one, which I got in Ulta a little bit ago, and it smells delicious. I love it. And I love the bottle. It's so cute. So this is like the big sister or the cousin. It looks similar. I'm not sure what it smells like. So it's kind of a, another a blind. A blind purchase. I did read the notes and I liked what I read. It says is a woody floral sheep ray. <clears throat> is it sheep or sheep? I'm sorry. In, in Spanish, we'll say sheep ray, but I'm not sure. A bouquet of flowers as grand as the Eiffel Tower. Centifolia Rose Absolute, Latura Accord, Patchouli Essence, and Cashmere Accord. And all, all that sounds really good to me. I hope it's a good, a good uh, selection. See the bottle is very similar, just a different color. Isn't that pretty? Just the bottle itself, it's beautiful. Let me spray some, see? Mm. Oh, God, it smells delicious. I smell the rose, a little bit powdery, but it's very, it's light. It's really nice. Oh, I'm so glad that it was a good choice. Like I don't smell the rose that much, but it, it smells really good. Okay. I have one more thing, but I'm going to leave it for the end because it's. I got it for you guys. I think you're going to love it. Um, let me show you the Westman Atelier. It's so pretty. It goes with the uh, mascara that I got the other day. So I'm going to... I wanted to get this. And I'm glad that I did. i make a look real soon. Okay. And finally, last but not least, this is one... Of my favorite brands i love their products i love their scent i love how it works on your hair and you can kind of think of what it is i'm always talking about this brand and it's gizu i finally learned how to pronounce it it's gizu i got a little stuff for you guys it is the honey glow icons it is 147 uh, 147 value but they sell it for 98 and i know i got it with a 20 percent discount as well but still this is a beautiful gift and i purchased it just for you guys like i had already things for you but i decided to get something um like a gift set like this and it has four things it has the hair mask the perfume the lip oil and the hair oil it is delicious i hope you guys love it whoever wins the giveaway because it smells delicious and this is today's gift and yesterday's gift is also gizu i have the honey infused beauty balm i have to open it to show you guys here it is this is for your for your face it's not for your hair it is honey infused beauty balm be warm between your fingertips and you're massaging to the driest areas of your skin to nourish soothe and protect for natural glow simply dab onto the area of your area of your complexion you want to enhance so there's two items from gizu i hope you love it i love this brand i generally do love them i i'm obsessed with the fragrance i love the way it smells so i wanted one of you guys to or one of you girls whoever wins this i don't know who will win it 
uh, would experience the same experience that I have when I use their products so I hope you like it all right that is all for today it was quite a busy day for me because I usually just go to work that's it maybe go to the UPS store go to the gym but this week I haven't been going to the gym because of my my foot problem and my 645 class which is a class that I go to was canceled it's, it's been canceled for all Thursdays this month because the trainer I found today, the trainer has something else to do and that's fine. Next week I do plan on going Tuesdays and Wednesdays to my class. But it was quite busy today because I had to go to the laser place, I go to the tire place, I gotta, gotta work. I went to the UP. Like for me that's a lot. <laughs> because I usually don't do all those things in one day. And I'm glad to share that with you. I'm glad that I was able to take you with me. And I hope you enjoyed it. So I want to wish you guys a good night. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye.